Good morning, everyone. You know it's your boy, Samuel Watson. We're here on the Scotch Bonnet Pepper Farm today. Now, I'm gonna show you what's happening. Let's go. So you know we have planted these peppers for about seven months now yes and we have been reaping continuously every week or every other week and every week we reap about 200 to 250 pounds of peppers now to scale it up we are now on about quarter acre and we have planted roughly 800 to 900 plants so if you scale that up to an acre we will be reaping approximately 1000 pounds of scotch bonnet peppers per week how did we plant these plants two feet apart two feet apart per row now these rows are about four feet apart that's the walk space and if you can look, we have no walk space now. No walk space now. Spread out in the row. And as you can see, they are getting very tall, even taller than me. Look at this plant. I am six feet tall and this plant is taller than me. And there are others inside this garden that are way taller than me seven or eight feet tall now as i said take a look at this particular plant what i did was to run an experiment right here and plant four plants sorry five plants one foot apart from each other to see what is the difference between the two feet and the one foot bearing right no there isn't much difference the only thing is that when they are too close they tend to shade more of each other so that part that is in the shade you won't get much bearing from it therefore the two feet method is the ideal method if they are too far apart from each other they will just grow wide and short now these plants need a little competition to go upward so the two feet method is the best once they spread out and they lock into each other they will just go up they will not go sideways but they will just go up and the more up they go they will produce more you know so producing more you have to couple it couple it with a lot of other things such as fertilization how do we do it we apply the necessary nutrients to them one special nutrient is the calcium nitrate you know we, the plants need calcium to for cell reproduction it's building the cells of the fruit also to ensure that these blossoms hold on to the plant and not to fall off before the fruit arrives that's the purpose of the calcium so when your plant is filled with peppers as in this garden you will want to tend to not give it more calcium but i can tell you if you hold back on that calcium you will not have another bearing as this one the bearing will decrease so you have to know when to apply calcium other ingredients or other nutrients are like the magnesium sulfate potassium sulfate potassium nitrate monopotassium phosphate and other micronutrients such as 
boron, zinc, molybdenum, you know, the nutrients that it requires. Now, you must care for your plants as it relates to pests and insects and diseases such as fungus. Now, if you take a look around, you will observe one thing. They are looking beautiful. <laughs> yes, they are looking beautiful and they are filled with peppers. We know when to apply these fungicides and insecticides. One important chemical that we use on these peppers is the cure. Yes, he's the bad boy, kicks off the mites. You know, you must use that particular chemical, the cure. If you don't, your leaves will start to curl. Your leaves will start to curl. I'm gonna show you a particular plant. Look at this one. Leaves are curling. These are mite. We sprayed recently. So we can get rid of these mites. They are hard to see. You won't see them unless there is a cluster. So, we have sprayed for mites, we have sprayed for the fungus, and we have sprayed for other insects such as worms, caterpillars, you know, they love peppers, I can tell you, we'll come in your farm today and they are looking nice and beautiful, and a week after, a lot of them have been eaten, worms, so you have to spray to prevent the worms, you know. We use a chemical we call First Strike. It has a particular ingredient by the name of Indox. Yes, very good. They are looking wonderful. Another thing I want to talk about is application of water. Right. Based on what we have done, we have planted them through black plastic mulch as you can see they're on the black plastic mulch and when you have them on the black plastic mulch it heats the ground quickly so if you put your hand under the plastic you will feel that particular heat that I'm talking about so you have to ensure Come to the plant, come to your farm each day and feel the soil at the root base. It will dry out fast. And if you are on a sandy soil, you will know what I'm talking about. It will dry out fast. So you have to apply water every other day, or if it's very hot, every day. Yeah. So, as it relates to reaping, you know, you pick all the ripe peppers and the full peppers. You don't leave the ripe ones on it because the plant will still be focusing on that ripe pepper. So you pick off all the ripe peppers and the green full ones. And I can assure you within three days, you will have more ripe peppers on these plants they are looking mighty wonderful i tell you your plants will continue to bear once you have sprayed it and apply your fertilizer as i said so i will be back with you another day on the pepper farm peace out